Good morning, Facebook friends. We are here in Indianapolis. It's Monday morning. Bit of a cooler day today, 13 degrees outside. That's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But today is the first day of our General Assembly business, the main business, and it's going on in the hall behind us. Now, you've seen us this week, we've been doing lots of fun things at the booth. Please come by the booth to see us today. We've got loads of stuff to give away. We've got some great little communion cups. We've also got some tea light holders of, uh, with the fish in it. These were made and commissioned for us to give away at the General Assembly, and they're from Jerusalem, made of olive wood. So please come along, see us at the booth. We're also doing some other fun things. So yesterday, you saw us putting henna and doing henna on the hands, and uh, we've got Jyoti, who's going to come do some more of that from 12 o'clock until 1 o'clock. So remember, please come by the booth. Have a great day. After this video, yesterday we did some fun yesterday with our regional director, Reverend Jim Ritchie, who is from Scotland. So he was sharing some, some local Scottish phrases to see how people understood those. A little bit of a fun video. Watch this after this. See you later. Thank you. I think was Well, everybody, we're going to have a game today of do you know the Scottish words and what do they mean? And with me today, I have my wonderful FSC for the Western Mediterranean, Mr. Diego Lopez. Diego is Colombian uh, who lives in Spain, so this is going to be a real challenge. So I'm going to say a Scottish word, and Diego is going to tell me what he thinks it means, mm. and then I'll tell him and you what us Scots really mean when we say these words. Okay. So the first word I'm going to say is bahuki. Bahuki. Is it a broom? To clean the floor. A bahuki is not a broom to clean the floor. It's part of the, the human anatomy. Okay. Is it the, the bump? It is the bottom or the bump. Yes. You a say, bahuki. get off your bahuki and do some work. That's what I have to do. The next one is blether. Blether? Blether. Is it a belt? No, that's leather. Oh. <laughs> okay, blether. It's something you do a lot, actually. He, he is a blatherer. Oh, somebody who talks a lot. Yay! Yay! Ding! Right, the next one is Baufin. 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 Lying. No, no. no. It's uh, something... Oh, this morning's sermon was all about aromas. So, Baufin. Smell. Yeah, what kind of smell? Bad smell. It's a bad smell. See, your feet are pure Baufin. Man, this is like another language. So, the next one is, what the weather's like today is drich. Wow, pouring down. Drich, yeah, it's pouring wet, down. it's kind of horrible. It's pouring down? Wet, pouring down rain. Yeah. So right, here's points. a good one. Giza horn. Oh, a, a guy. <laughs> no, that, that's a geezer. That's English, that's, that's London, mate. Okay. Giza horn. Giza horn. Sing hi. Gonna geese a horn, pal. Hello? Please give me geese a horn. Give me a hand. Yeah. Come and help me. That Did, is no, you know, doesn't even make sense. It makes every sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Right. Haver. 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 Talk too much? Oh, you're talking, but you're talking... Rubbish. You're talking rubbish. Talking rubbish. You're havering. Last one. Gia Laldi. Being very loud. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a big it up. Gia Laldi. Being very like loud. When, like, basically, this is the guy of Gia Laldi. I'm very loud. Diego Lopez. Gia Laldi. So I think we're going to say that today, Diego has graduated as a, an adopted Scotsman. Give me a Giza Horn. Giza Horn. Giza Horn. Giza Horn.